Hello! Today we are going to talk about dividing multi-digit numbers. This should be a review of a concept that you've been learning for several years now. The only difference will be the size of the numbers we are dividing. The learning objective for this video is I can fluently divide multi-digit numbers. Fluently means to do something with ease. Now, first, before we begin our practice, it's important to understand what multi-digit numbers are as well as what a digit is. Digits are simply the symbols we use to create numbers. So, multi-digit numbers are just numbers that have two or more digits. One more thing we should probably review is the name of the parts of a division problem. These terms should all review, but Let's make sure you know them. First, we have a dividend, which is simply the number we will be dividing up. Next, we have the divisor. The divisor tells us how many pieces we want in a group. Finally, we have the quotient, which tells us how many groups we will have once we have divided the dividend by the divisor. Let's look at this example. We have 2,208. That's our dividend. We're going to divide it by our divisor of 92. So the first question you will ask yourself is, will 92 go into 2? Well, we know in this case the answer is no. However, later in the year we will be do doing problems like that. Let's continue. Since the answer is no, I like to put a zero above that digit so that I know where I am at any given time when solving my problem. Okay, let's look at 92 divided into 22. Again, in this case, the answer is going to be no. So I'm going to put another zero above the two there. Now we have 92 divided into 220. That will work. Before I decide what to do next, I'm going to do some estimating. I'm going to round 92 to 90 since 90 92 is close to 90. Then I'm going to look at this 220 and go, well, that's kind of close to 200. Now I know that 90 will go in to 100 one time. So if I have 200, it'll go in there twice. So I'm going to put 2 above the 0 since this is where we are in terms of dividing up our number. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 9 is 18. Now it's time to subtract. Okay, 4 minus 0, we know that's not going to work, so we're going to have to borrow from our neighbor. Okay, now I have 10 minus 4, that equals 6. Instead of thinking, oh, 1 minus 8, I'm going to look at this number as 21 minus 18. Because our difference is smaller than our divisor, I know I've done a good job. Since we're not finished with our dividend, I'm going to bring the final digit down and add it to the end of my difference. Now I have 92 divided into 368. Once again, I'm going to think to myself, 90 divided by, now should it be 300 or 400 this time? Well, 68 is closer to 400, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and use 400. So 90 to divide it into 400, that would go in there four times. So let's give it a try. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 9 is 36. Now, if I subtract it, I've come to 0. So 92 goes evenly into 2,208 24 times. Now, let's just make sure we're right. To do that, all we have to do is take our quotient and multiply by our divisor. Our answer should end up being the dividend. Let's give it a try. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Since we're done with this digit, in the 1's place, I'm going to put a 0 there. 9 times 4 is 36. And 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. Now, let's add these up. 8 plus 0, 10, 2, and 2. So, we came up with 2,208. That's our dividend. So, yay! 
we did this problem correctly. Okay, let's see if you have the steps of dividing numbers now. Estimate, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, write the following problem in your notes. Pause the video, review the steps, and give this problem a try. All right, let's see how you've done. First, I'll ask myself, how many times does 18 go into 1? Well, as we mentioned before, that's not going to work in this case. 18 divided into 12? Nope, that one's not going to work either. Let's try 18 into 127. Yes, that'll work. Now, I'm going to estimate. I'll round 18 to 20. I think to myself, well, 20 times 6 is 120, um, but the dividend is bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and try and add one more to my estimate because 27 is closer to 30. So 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Wow, we were close. Let's subtract 126 now from 127. Well, that's easy. We have one left. Okay, we know that we've done a good job because the one is smaller than 18. Now, let's bring down the next digit in the dividend. That's a 4. Well, 14 is smaller than 18, so this 4 we can't use by itself. So like the 1 and the 2 over here, I'm going to put a 0 up here as a placeholder. Next. Let's bring down that 9, the final digit in the dividend, to see what we can do with that. We have 18 divided into 149. So if we take an estimate and make this 20 again and make this 150, I know that 7 times 20 is 140. That'll be pretty close. Let's go ahead and give that one a try. 7 times 8, again, is 56. And 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Let's subtract and see what happens. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. That one's not going to work so well. Let's go ahead and make this into an 8, okay, and redo our work. 8 times 8 is 64. So excuse me since I don't have an eraser, and we'll put the 6 over here here. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 4, so that'll be 14. 9 minus 4 is 5, and 14 minus 14 is 0. Okay, now we've done it. We have 5 left over, though, and we have no more digits remaining. We're going to solve this in one or two ways. First, we can just put remainder 5 and be done. Another way we can look at it is that a divisor is kind of like telling us how much makes a whole, just like in a fraction. So I have 5 left over, and 18 would make a whole, so I could also write it as 708 and 5 eighteenths. I would always want to simplify this fraction if possible, but in this case, we're already at the simplest form. So for right now, until we learn more about decimals, these two options for an answer are both correct. 708 remainder 5 or 708 and 5 eighteenths. Whatever you do, don't be discouraged if you don't always get the correct quotient the first time around. It takes practice, and solving our mistakes will always make our brains grow.